Hello everybody. Um, it was supposed to be a six month review, um, but lots of things got in the way. Um, and now it's seven months. So at least we get an extra month to um, look at where I've got to. Um, and we're just about to go into winter. So um, there's quite a lot of change, especially in the last few days I've noticed. And if you look at this graphic in the background, this is today, um, and I'm about to run out of battery. Um, because it's Sunday, we've done um, uh, tumble drying, oven, you know, cooking and bits and pieces. So it's now completely kind of run out. So um, anyway, seven months on. Um, just a quick recap for anyone that hasn't seen this before. Um, this is in the background, I'll run through my um, portal so you can see what, what's happening with my statistics um, since I put everything in. Um, and uh, just as a recap, um, I signed my agreement in January, um, my panels were installed in about the end of March, um, my battery arrived in about early July, um, which was good because then I got an understanding of where my, what my solar was giving me in, in good solar um, conditions. My battery arrived in about, as I say, in July. Um, I ordered a Renault Zoe Electric, I thought why not try that as well, so I ordered that in March and that arrived in August. So again, lots of things added on. In July, I switched to the Octopus tariff. So I decided to go for the Go Faster 5. So that gives me five hours of uh, economy seven, as it were, you know, cheap overnight, uh, about 8.25, um, but a bit more expensive in a day. So it's about 39p a kilowatt. Um, so trying to minimize that. Um, although, as I say, in the last couple of days, I've ended up using bits, um, but anyway. My solar setup is a 4.38 kilowatt um, kilowatt hour rec back panels, um, an 8.2 uh, give energy battery, um, along with the hybrid inverter. Um, I've also installed the iBoost for the central heating, so I didn't use, I haven't really used any gas since about um, well, since sort of, uh, March April time, um, except for the standing charge really. Um, and I installed a Zappi not so long ago for the car. Um, so, approximate cost of all the solar side of things was about 11,000, um, plus the, the, the car costs on top, um, which um, was a replacement for petrol diesel. And going on to my, my view of things later, it's probably costing me a little bit more than I was expecting um, because I'm having to use the, the car a bit more. Um, but on the whole, you know, it's not too bad. So, um, so because I've got the battery, what it's allowed me now to do is kind of review where I'm at. Um, obviously, there's there's minimal solar in the day, not a lot to charge the the battery. So, a lot of the time, you end up spending consuming the battery rather than adding to it. So, um, but not bad. So. It, 5.30 in the morning, I'm, I've got a full battery. Um, what I would say is um, I use, so basically the principles are I, 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 I use my immersion heater from about five to half five in the morning um, just to boost the hot water. Um, do have a couple of electric heaters. I thought I'll make use of those as well. So I just use those just to do a couple of the rooms, you know, my bedroom and things rather than using the 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 gas which will come on soon so that might change um but early in the morning just so i'm about to get up um i obviously charge the car where i need to so that might be a complete charge for five hours or, or a couple of hours as needed um, and obviously i charge my battery so you know you can see in the background here that um obviously hubbus 12 um hits and i consume a lot of electricity um, so for the last couple of months, on average, I've been probably 550 kilowatt hours um, per month. So you wouldn't be able to be a lot of money if you weren't on the economy seven. So, um, so it's working quite well. So recently, um, I decided to obviously send my export. I've got to about six months. Um, British Gas never confirmed when my six month time was. Um, so in the end, I just sent them a reading. I just got fed up. Um, and they actually sent me a reply to tell me when I should have sent it, which was quite funny. 
um, because I asked three times before. But um, that's supposed to be on the 7th of November, which is tomorrow. Um, so I will submit another reading and we'll see what that comes back at. Um, I am expecting that to re be around £40. I think it's about £41, £42 or something. So, um, uh, yeah. So I'll let you know what happens when that comes through and see what I actually get out of it. Um, but I don't know how long that's going to take. Okay, so if we switch it to my view of the world, um, again, this is my nice complicated um, version of it. Um, my solar bit isn't working, so we'll forget that at the moment. Um, basically, I've added in here my my give energy reading and my actual reading. So obviously, you've got a bit of a variance there. Um, looking on the right here, we've got um, so this is my payback. So linked with the the bottom part here, um, this is what I think over time my payback's been, and as you can see, it's it's drastically um, dropping. Um, so at the moment um, I'm looking at well under you know sort of seven and a half years if I don't add the charger obviously adding the charger adds another thousand pounds on the top so um, that's back up to eight again we're just going into winter so we'll see what happens and obviously with the battery and economy seven it's affected it slightly differently from the original um, where I was going to be with um, the 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 solar on its own, you know, an additional battery. Um, I put what I think the solar, uh, the iBoost savings probably so far, um, which is £100, um, total install and, I um, can't remember what the total battery charge now. Um, this is how much um, I, I've, I, I've saved to date um, in terms of um, solar. Um, so that's adding that up. Um, this bit I've added. Let me go on to this bit at the bottom here. So this is this is the bit we're interested in in terms of the payback. Um, so this is what I think I've currently saved because of my solar, um, which is eight hundred pounds, um, and um, this is the cost of my electric uh, so far. Um, so it, it, it's it's reduced a lot. Um, over here, um, basically, this is this is it over time. A lot of you, if you've seen this before, will recognise it. Um, but there's some other bits I've added now. So I've put my total electric cost. So what I was trying to work out was from about, let's say, April, end of March, beginning of April, what is my total cost? So you can see March, I added my iBoost, the battery, and then the car. I think at the moment my total electric since sort of beginning of since April let's say has been two hundred pound and my gas because of the standing charges and at that point I was running on a bit of gas um is about one hundred and thirty nine so I think at the moment we're looking at about what's that three sixty three seventy so that's my total bill to date now it's very different in the last few months, but that's from sort of uh, April time which still isn't bad. Um, I added in some extra bits here because I thought, what? how do I compare the electric of the car? So my car is at about 4,800. And again, bear in mind, I've only had it since August. Um, so yeah, not that long. Um, I think at this kind of consumption, um, we're looking at 900 pounds. So that's what it would have that's what the equivalent of the diesel is. Obviously, I've paid the electric cost, which is a lot less. Um, and then there's a couple of other things. So um, I've kind of tried to work out what the car would be costing me in fuel or in electricity. Um, as a rough cost of that Economy 7, it's probably slightly out because I've added immersion and things, um, but as a rough idea. And any additional spend. So if I go to a BP Pulse, uh, thing how much have I spent so again you can see I don't use them I try not to I try to do everything at home where possible um, in the last few months um, so the pink is what my solar saving is be would be um, otherwise that would be um, paying the um, electric costs um, this is my car cost so I added in to try and make it as as comparable as possible so just to clarify this is the the the, the Renault agreement you know, my contract cost, 
which is £300 a month for the Zoe itself um, which was the kind of offset I had with, against the diesel or, or petrol um, and in here although these are showing I just realised that actually that um, doesn't include the government scheme which um, I have added in the, the octopus bit here so so actually my my energy costs will be practically zero for this but I've not included that so actually it's slightly higher than, than I'm showing on here uh, it's, it's, it's lower than I'm showing on here which is which is good um, I've now added in um, the octopus uh, data so download it from the octopus data um, and this is included here so you can see part of the, the the government scheme I've added in here at the £66 and the referral that I got early on when I first started um, in there um, which has really helped so so as a total you can see month on month I'm really not spending anything it's been offset by things so I've been extremely lucky at the moment that, that um, that's been picked up with the referral and the, the government scheme so um, on the whole I think since I've started this and um, switched over to Octopus my total um, cost at the moment is about £33 of electricity which is pretty good considering I've run the car I've put the immersion on and everything like that so I'm um, pretty lucky and it seems to be working very well I can show you what that looks like as well so um, this is this was currently last month so it was 33 uh, pounds um, and you can see here my 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 bill was 69 pound for last month which was 580 kilowatts um, and um, with the the government discount it, it all meant that it was at a three pound total cost um, and similarly the previous month as well so that's what it looks like on the bill um, just want to say final thank you for anyone that's watching um, and interested um, anyone that's got the solar and, and things like that hopefully they're seeing some some good results as well um, again I'll um, see how it goes over winter um, and I'll probably keep an update every so often um, and any questions just just ask and I can try and help so um, yeah that's where I am right now and uh, we'll see what happens thanks you thanks very much for watching and um, I'll speak to you all soon thank you while I was just finishing the video I suddenly realized that I may as well take out that um, the the government support scheme values from my chart and also the solar bit so actually this is a true picture of of where I am now in terms of my monthly spend in in car and electricity um, obviously um, you can see here that my my petrol and diesel costs has gone down drastically because of the electric car my electric and because of the incentive and the um, a referral um, the last few months have actually been zero um, so I'm, I'm in line um, with where I am a bit higher this month um, but but that is a true reflection I think of what I've been spending obviously gas has been ten pounds a month um, so that, that doesn't add a lot to it um, but now as we go into the winter months um, I'm sure things will will change um, especially with the, the gas coming on so um, but there we go that's a true reflection and you can see here that over time the 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 what the solar and the battery has done um, taking into account the um, government um, the government support scheme but there we go just before I finish, I um, thought I'd just show the Give Energy app since they've done an update reason, recently. Um, if you click on the Give Energy, um, what you actually get is another icon now, um, which shows you your um, sort of breakdown of your um, imported data. Um, and you can see here, as of today, um, my estimated spend is this. Um, and then you can go to the dashboard. Um, and this is quite handy so it gives you tells you what tariff you're on how many watts and things you're using now so the cost and then over the last few days 
Um, so this is today, this is yesterday, um, and then the past seven days. And then I think if you click on the spend, maybe not. Okay, but you could drill into it, um, but obviously not. The other thing you can do along the bottom here is look at some of the some of the so you can see what where your tariff is, which is quite handy. Um, you can see where you've been using your energy. So again, this is quite good. So this is this was yesterday, so Sunday. Um, so yeah, a bit of a day. I kind of ran out of battery, um, but it's quite handy because you can keep going back. Um, so again, this is what I like to see where I'm not using any, but you can see most of my car charging is in this point and how much it is. Um, and then your totals. Um, so again, you can click on each one and then get an, an idea. But just something they've added in um, fairly recently, which I thought was quite handy. Um, yep, yeah, just thought I'd show you that. Alright, thanks very much. Bye.